Hi, welcome to Full Tower TV. My name is Rafael, and in this video, we are going to talk about reversed versus standard RGB fans. In this video, we will discuss why exactly do we even need reversed fans in the first place, and hopefully, by the end of this video, you will know exactly which fans you need to buy. So, of course, if you clicked on this video, you are probably considering adding more fans to your computer. And with the rising popularity of the fish tank style PC cases, we start to see a lot more variants of different fans, reversed and standard ones. So how exactly do we know which fans we need and where can we add them? Before we talk about the fans themselves, let's understand some basic concepts. The airflow in a standard PC case works as follows. Usually at the front we will have intake fans which will take fresh air inside the computer and at the top and at the back we will see fans that take air outside of the computer. Now let's understand how a typical fan works and how do we know which side of the fan will actually blow air. Meaning if I'm holding this fan for example like this, will I get air into my direction or into your direction? So usually if you take a look on the position of the blades and the way that the fan is spinning, it means that in this case the fan will push air into this side. If I flip it, you can see the blades coming towards my side over here. That means when the fan will spin, it will push air over this side. Now let's take an example for a case that has reversed and standard fans and we will see exactly what happens when we want to add more fans to a case like that. Over here I have the Montec XR PC case. This is a fish tank style case and the way that the airflow works in this case, as you can see the two fans at the front of the case that are on the side panel act as intake fans. The fan at the back act as an exhaust fan. So in this case the fans will be facing with the blades like this on the side of the panel, meaning that this side will be, this is the panel of the case, this is how the fan will be. It means that when the case, when the, sorry, when the fan will spin it will push air towards this side. The fan at the back will be installed with this side faced towards the inside of the case, meaning that this side will push air outside of the case. So what happens if we want to add more fans? As we said, and as a general rule, you should know that hot air travels upwards and not downwards. Meaning if we want to add more fans in this case, we can add more fans at the bottom and at the top. The bottom fans will act as intake and the top fans will act as an exhaust. And this is where the reversed and the standard RGB fans comes into play. These are the TLS12 fans from Thermorite, which have two variants. It has a standard and a reversed variant. Now judging by this, where do you think the reversed fans will go and where do you think that the standard fans will go. Something that is important to understand. This whole discussion only applies to RGB fans. Because if I put a normal fan, it doesn't really matter which side I put the fan on, right? Only if I have RGB, some kind of lighting on the fan itself, I want to show it. If I need to flip the fan and I can't see the lights on the fan, I kind of miss the whole point. So if I have RGB on my fans, I want to make sure that I want to see them. So in this case, the S12R will have the air come through the fan going upwards. And the standard fan will have the air going through the fan towards the bottom. So the reverse fans will be at the bottom and the standard fans will be at the top. And this is because, again, if we take a look on the reversed fan, they push air through the bottom of the fan towards upwards. 
That means that these fans will act as intake and we can see the RGB even though the fans are installed at the bottom of the case. If we had the standard fans we wouldn't be able to see the RGB because we will have to flip the fan in order to have air pushing from the bottom towards upwards and then the RGB will be completely covered and we won't be able to see it unless the fan has double-sided RGB. And most manufacturers just don't make fans like this because it's not very cost-effective and it doesn't really serve any point. So in this case the standard fans will be at the top of the case but they will be flipped Meaning, if you take a look at this fan, for example, and imagine you have RGB over here, right? And I want to put it on the top of the case. This is, this is the top of the case, and I, I want them here, and I want the blades to face towards this way, so it will exhaust hot air upwards. So in that case, when I put the fan like this, the blades will be over here, they will spin, they will take the air upwards, and I will be able to see the RGB lighting. So this is a more complete picture on how it should look like and how you should always approach reversed and standard RGB fans in your case. If you take a look at the bottom, you will want probably to take the reversed fans because they will act as intake and you will be able to see the RGB. At the top, you will probably want regular standard RGB fans that will act as an exhaust and will take hot air outside of the case. Now let's see an example for a build that have the fans installed in the wrong way. Now bear in mind this is not exactly installed in the wrong way in terms of airflow but just in terms of the looks the way it looked. As you can see here this is a picture of a white Montec XR and you can see the thermal right um, fans right over here so these ones act as an exhaust in this situation and these fans act as intake. As you can see the sticker of the fan is actually facing towards the top which is not very ideal and I mean it looks okay it's not that big of a deal but the more correct approach to this case will be to use the reversed fans and to put them at the bottom instead. So now you know, usually you will want to put the reverse fans at the bottom and the standard fans at the top. If you are using fans at the side of the case, you can either use reverse fans as intake or standard fans as an exhaust. The more ideal approach will be to use them as intake on the side and intake at the bottom, the back will be exhaust and the top will be exhaust. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any question, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to help you. Until next time, my name is Rafael and thank you for watching Full Tower TV.